So first we remove all items from the list form before we display any chart. So to do that, we will simply do the lst output dot items dot clear. And that will clear the list box. So now the list has been cleared, so we can create an empty passenger object. This will allow us to use methods from the passenger class. So I will create a passenger and create a new instance of a passenger object. Now we know there are four columns and ten rows, so we can create a two-dimensional array with these values. And the array is going to be a string, simply holding the seed information to display as text. So it's going to be a string two-dimensional array, and I'll call it sorted passengers. And it will be a new array of strings with the 10 rows and 4 columns. OK, so now we can loop through the array. Obviously, we need a nested loop to do that. So let's create that. So it's going to be 4 integer i equals 0 i is less than 10, so this is looping through the rows, and i++, plus plus. and the inner loop will be integer c equals 0, and c is less than 4, so this is the columns, and c++. Plus plus. Now the way I'm going to do this is to construct one single string that will hold one row of seeds and keep adding each row to the list as we loop through them. So I'll just call the string output and create it here before the inner loop. So it's going to be bar output and it's going to be initialized to empty string. And I need a variable for the column as well. The row is a number which will match the integer i, but the column is a letter a, b, c or d which will match the integer c. So I'll create a variable for column, and it's going to be an empty string as well. So if the c equals 0, then the seed is a. If the c equals 1, then the seed is b, and so on. So I can do any statement and check if the c equals 0. And if that's the case, that column will equal to a. That's the column of the seed. Else if c equals 1, then the column will be b, and else if c equals 2, the column will be c, and if neither of this is true, then the column must be d. So column will equal d. So let me just comment it so you have it in your code. So in this loop we simply assign the letters a, b, c or d, and this output variable simply creates a string for the whole seeding chart, and finally the column creates a string for the column letters. Alright, so now we have the seed and we need to display it. And we can display empty seed as a letter x, and if the seed is taken, we display it as a row number plus the column letter. So that's going to be our next step after the if statement, still within the inner for loop. So if the seed is taken, we will construct the output to contain the row number and column letter, such as 1a, 7d, etc. So we'll start with an if statement. And remember, the row is an integer i in the outer loop, but the loop starts from 0 while the seeds start from 1. So we can simply use i plus 1 for the row, and column is already assigned from the if statement above. So the column is already a, b, c, or d, but the row itself is the index i. Like I said, it starts from 0, so we will do i plus 1. So what we want to do here is to check if the seed is taken. So we will call the if seed taken method with the index of i plus 1. So this is going to be our seed row. So for the first iteration it will be 1, for the second it will be 2, and so forth. 
and since this is a string we need to convert it to string and we need to pass the seed column so that is already a string so we will pass the column as is so we'll pass in the row and the column to our is seed taken method and it will return true or false and if it is taken then we will display it as like i said a 1a 7d etc however we want to format it a little i simply want the spacing to be the same for single and double digits rows so i will add a leading zero to all rows one through nine so to see what rows they are i'll do any statement and check if the i plus one row is less than 10 this is the single digit rows and if it is then i will add the leading zero to the output so our output will concatenate the leading zero and then we will add the actual row which is the i plus one and again we need to do it to string and we will also concatenate the column which is the letter and at the end we can also add a few spaces to space it out a little so this is the output for the rows one through nine again you just add in a leading zero and if it's the tenth row it's gonna be the else statement i'm just gonna copy this whole thing because it's gonna be similar but this one will not have the leading zero there it will simply have the row and column and then the spaces at the end now this is true or this is done when the seed is taken we will simply display the seed if the seed is not taken so it's gonna be the else so this is when the seed is empty we will mark it as x but again i want to format it a little so i will actually use a triple x with the corresponding number of spaces after it so it matches the spacing of the actual seed numbers so since the seed can be 10a which is three digits i want axis to be three as well so they kind of line up nicely in the output so i will do output plus equals and three axes and some spaces all right so this is all within our inner loop so we've been adding into our output string and now we can display it after the inner loop finishes i have a string with four seeds in one row but before i do that i want to add a space between second and third seed kind of like an aisle on the airplane basically we will display two seeds on the left then space and then two seeds on the right and to do that i will simply check if we are looping through the second column which is the index of one and if we do after the seed is added i will add an extra space to the output string but rather than using another if statement i'm going to use a ternary operator so at the end after everything is assigned i will add the space to the output and i will add it if c equals one so if we are looping through the second column if this is true then i will add extra spaces and if it is not true i won't add any space at all all right now after the inner loop finishes we have a full row and everything is formatted so we can add that row to the list itself so after the inner loop finishes i'm gonna comment it out so you know what's going on we will add the seeding information for the row to the input string and add empty line just for a little nicer formatting so our lst output dot items dot add and we are adding the output that we just constructed within our inner loop and like i said we will also add an empty line as well so i'm gonna copy this but instead of output i'm just adding a blank all right we are almost finished and all that is left is to code the delete event so let's do that next